In other news, DJI news, for as far as the future of DJI, um, we have the first Bynum fly listed by Fox Ear. Um, it has been listed with the Ocusync 3 air unit. I have effed up the document. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Yes, the Fox Ear Aura 5-inch freestyle drone. Uh, you can get it with... It's kind of cool to see a single bind and fly with all these VTXs available. AC0, yeah. sure. Vista, sure. I, Analog? I think that's a 1-watt, too. I think that's a 1-watt uh, well, VTX. So. Damn well yeah. better be. <laughs> For a 5-inch freestyle, it better be the 1-watt. <laughs> um, and DJI 03. Now, here's the question, Blunty. Did Foxier just do this to troll us? I mean, it's not impossible. So, I don't think so. I think it may, they maybe pushed it on accident or they pushed it because they felt like it would push traffic to them or something. But I can tell you that like, part of the reason we heard about leaks and we knew information about the Oxygen 3 air units was because people were getting demo units to try out for bind and fly setups mm -hmm. at these retailers. Like I know mm -hmm. that was the case. Mm -hmm. So um, I would guess that that's part of where this comes from. But part of the reason we're bringing this up is today is the 27th. And today yeah. was the rumored, you know, as of three weeks ago, was the rumored date that we never got kind of reconfirmed of the Oxygen 3 Air Unit launch. And obviously today we didn't get a launch without Oxygen 3, 3 Air Unit. But not only that, we haven't gotten any leaks or any new updates or any teases or anything like that. Nothing. Um, and I've waited to tell you until now. I got this about a week and a half, two weeks ago. But I did get um, a report from somebody I can't reveal, a source I can't reveal, that said there was going to be a delay on the Oxysync Air, Air Unit, and it was going to be somewhat substantial delay. Hmm. Um, but there was one source, and I can't. I don't want to like shake everything up for one source. But now it does appear that that was correct, and you, I do think, you, yeah. Are you saying we don't just take one little leak and then make earth-shattering news? Yeah. Just uh, to just uh, to get clickbait stuff, but con we actually contrary to, po contrary to popular belief, uh, yeah, we we are, we did not just spread cl clickbait and randomness. I try to source most of what I have from at least anonymous sources, and uh, I was not mm -hmm. able to confirm that. I asked a bunch of other people who were in the know, and nobody could tell me about a delay, so I waited. Um, but it does seem that we were getting that delay in an unconfirmed date. Like I have not seen any new date, no information about release and no real yeah. knowledge about what's going it, on. So it's weird because, and so I, I can tell you that before the Avada released people that I were talking to, well, people that I was talking to said that the Avada would not be releasing at the same time as the O3 air unit. And I was like, well, that's really strange because the Avada just has the air unit in it. So just rip it out and sell it as a separate, retail unit and they said well they, they don't want to do that um and i thought well is that because they just want to sell avadas maybe they can only make so many air units and they want to sell avadas um and they said no they don't want to hold the avada until the o3 air unit is ready and i thought yep. well that's interesting that's not a sourcing or a supply problem that says that there's something about the o3 air unit that they're still sort of trying to work the kinks out of and it sounds like they're still trying to work the kinks out of it for whatever that's worth. Um, yeah. It's so weird to me because it feels like, like how could DJI have gotten this close to a product release and still be working the kinks out of something? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. One thing we do know, or one thing that we've at least heard very often is that they really change these teams over a lot. And then a lot of the teams that we're seeing, like, you know, the Avada team is completely different or mostly different from the FPV drone team. And that was completely different from a lot of the air unit and Vista team. And so if that's the case, and a lot of these people have cycled out or gone other places or moved to different departments, there may just not be a lot of understanding about um, you know, pushing this stuff for the FPV systems and how they're mounted and like what all the what all the stuff goes through and the abuse and all that stuff. So maybe they found yeah. major issues in testing. They didn't feel comfortable releasing. So, and these new well, designers weren't familiar with the same issues that the old ones were. But yeah. otherwise, it's you know, obviously we're just speculating. We don't really know. So. Yeah, I would like to say regarding our our our, our editorial policy about leaks is we're not right one hundred percent of the time. We'll always try to disclose when we're giving you something we think is a reliable source or a fact versus a leak or a suspicion. We try and let you know what the uncertainty bars on this. and uh, But we are selective and only try to release information that we think is reasonable to share and not just like one dude said it and now we're going to clickbait you. Um, there have I, I'm sure that someone could look back at the whole history of our show and find a case where we released a leak, we covered a leak, 
it turned out to be wrong and someone would say, hey, they clickbaited it. And, and, I, and I, I would just say, one, I could tell you one right now. It's the Insta 360, yeah, there's an Insta 360 session style thing that was like a fake render that somebody made that we shared. Did um, we say it was real? Yeah, or we said it like seems real and it seems legitimate. And we hope this is the product and there's no evidence of it, but it certainly seems like it would be legitimate and that it was totally fake. So, like, yeah. there are cases where we'll share something that I can't vet. But like that's the world we live in, right? So yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would just, I was just going to say, I think that uh, we would always feel maybe incorrectly, but we would always feel that we had a semi, you know, I like to say, is it at least fifty-one percent likely to be true? Yeah, you know? I agree. And with that. and and, yeah. and that you know, just because maybe well, sometimes, hopefully, rarely, we turn out to be wrong, doesn't mean that we just willy-nilly throw leaks up here just to get clickbait. What you learn once you start sourcing and handling and doing leaks every week and stuff and information is that if you don't share the things that aren't hundred percent, you're never going to share anything. Cause that's how this yeah. works, yeah. right? This is a yeah. leak. This is how the leak culture works. It's like, you can't nail things down because that's how people get in trouble. You mm -hmm. can't share direct information because that's how people get in trouble. Cause people aren't responsible with pictures and just share them because they feel like it, which is a huge problem. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stuff like that. There's some questions in the chat about remote ID and maybe they're trying to put remote ID in the O3 air unit or when remote ID is enforced, will the V1 air unit still be able to be there? I don't want to do a deep dive in that because that's not really the focus of yeah. the live stream. There's no need for any relationship at all between the air unit and remote ID because the air unit at the end of the day is a video transmitter. The only thing that has to have remote ID is a manufacture a standard remote ID drone where the manufacturer has to put it in everything else, all home built drones, etc., will, will have a remote ID module that you, the builder will add. And so there's no reason why DJI would need to even think about remote ID as regards to the O3 air unit or the V1 air unit. Yeah. So. It's sort of extra work. That's not, that doesn't really make any sense for them. Exactly. And currently we can also tell you that like every DJI drone puts out drone ID, which is DJI's thing you pick up with an aeroscope device, mm -hmm. air units and vistas do not put that out. And we do right. not expect I think the air unit three. Well, it might, who knows, but yeah. we don't expect it will. Cause that, there's, you know, they have drone ID for drones because they're drones. That's the point of drone ID. So, right. The, any, yeah. any, the, the, the flight controller would have remote ID built into it. The drone yeah. would have remote ID into it, but if you're buying a discrete component like a video transmitter, it will not have remote ID built into it. There's no need for that. There's no requirement for that. And there's, I don't see any reason why DJI would waste resources doing it. Yeah, so. I would agree. Uh, okay, thought that was important. 